To replace or remove, clean and reinstall the front cylinder head covers, you will need to remove the front engine cover, red arrow, by grabbing it with your hand and lifting it up off the engine. Remove the two air ducts by compressing them off the rear engine cover and then pulling them off the front ducts, yellow arrow. If you need more help, please see our article and video on engine cover removal by following the link at the end of this video. On the left side cover, you will need to remove both the air filter housing, red arrow, as well as the power steering reservoir, yellow arrow. Please see our articles and videos on these procedures for additional instruction by following the link provided at the end of this video. With the housing and reservoir removed, you will have access to the lower three bolts on the cover as indicated by the red arrows. On the right side cover, begin by removing the air switchover valve, red arrow, off its mount. Disconnect the wiring harness and let it hang off to the side. Use a T27 torque and remove the three bolts for the switchover valve mount, red arrow, and remove the mount. Remove the hoses for the check valves and use a T30 torque and remove the three bolts holding the air pump in place indicated by the red arrow. Disconnect the wiring from the cam sensors and adjusters and set them aside. Use a T30 torque and remove the wiring harness mount on the outside of the cover, red arrow. At this point, the covers are the same. Use an E10 torque and remove the seven bolts holding the cover in place as indicated by the red arrows. There are two places that you can use to gently pry apart the cover from the head and the valve cover, shown by the red arrows. Only use this area and never pry anything between the mounting surfaces. There is a sealant between the cover, so it can take a little force to separate them. Once the sealant lets go, make sure to have a hand on the cover. You do not want it to drop and damage these. They are very, very expensive to replace. Carefully clean the mounting surface of the cover. Do not use anything metal on the surface or anything that could scratch or gouge the metal. The mounting surface needs to be extremely clean for a proper seal. Again, carefully clean around the mounting surface of both the tower and the valve cover using care in the area where the valve cover meets the tower, red arrows. Again, don't use anything on the surface that could scratch or gouge the metal. The mounting surface needs to be extremely clean or you will do it again because you won't get a proper seal. I like to use Bond 1209. I've used it for years with great results and it is available through Pelican Parts. Make sure to carefully follow the instructions on the sealant you choose to use and allow it to dry and seal completely. Also, you do not need to use a lot of sealant. The extra sealant will squeeze out and make a mess outside of the cover and get into the cams and gears on the inside. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.